Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chad here. In today's video, we will be discussing uh, something that has happened recently. As most of you know, if you followed my channel for a little bit, you will know that I have been studying for the NRC exam. I completed the Encore exam back in March of last year. If you haven't seen a video reviewing that, I do have a video up on the channel where I go over what resources I used for that video. In this video, I wanted to discuss the NRC uh, exam. Wow. Um, I originally scheduled it for April. Um, I had been studying since probably, I would think, sometime after April of last year. I started briefly studying a little bit, but I really cracked down around somewhere in September, and I was studying pretty much um, every day of the week starting around September. The way I traditionally do my exams is I will be studying for quite some time and then I'll set a date and then I'll try and accomplish uh, all of the tasks that I need to be ready for the exam prior to that date. Now initially I scheduled the exam for April, uh, April the 18th to be exact. However, as I was getting closer and closer to the exam, I started getting a little bit more antsy. So I canceled the exam and rescheduled it. And I think after that I did it again. I think I scheduled it and canceled it again. I kept getting antsy. Um, I have some things going on. Um, it, I have some things going on this month with, with family coming over and, and whatnot, and I really wanted to just go ahead and get the exam done. So with that being said, I took the exam, um, let's see, just a few days ago. When did I take it? Uh, April the 6th was when I took the exam, and I passed. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, if you've been following my channel, I, I made a video when I passed my CCNA. And uh, when I took my CCNA exam, I didn't actually think I was going to do anything else. I thought I was going to take the CCNA exam and I was going to be done. Uh, CBT Nuggets has a Discord chat and I was in the Discord chat. And uh, for those who have followed along with CBT Nuggets, you'll know there's a trainer by the name of Jeff Kish. I hope I said his last name correctly. Um, but anyways, um, he was in there and I kind of was playing, you know, talking to some of the guys in the chat and I said, guys, I, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. Uh, and he challenged me to go after my CCMP. So uh, at first I was like, that's not something I, I, I feel like that's what I want to do, but I'll give it a shot. And uh, so I ended up doing... As I was studying for the Encore exam, I was like, man, this is really cool. I really like this. And then the NRC blew me away. Um, I'm a huge fan of routing technologies like OSPF, EIGRP, BGP. Um, it had some MPLS in there, some, some Layer 3 VPNs. Like That stuff really excites me. So um, the NRC exam was a no-brainer for me uh, since that's what excites me. That's the path that I chose. However, there is a different path, the uh, NSLED, the NSALAD exam, as some have said. Um, that is another area, which that is the design area. That is something else that excites me as well. So that's what's next for me. I'm going to uh, actually started uh, yesterday reading for, uh, I have the official cert guide for that, so I started yesterday reading for that exam. And I'll probably take it within the next five or six months of studying. Um, I will probably attempt to take that exam. And then after that, who knows, maybe I'll try the CCIE. Uh, I said to a, a, an engineer friend of mine that uh, I'd be crazy if I said that I was going to do the CCIE next. But after I finished my CCMP and I got that, I was like, this feels really cool, but the CCIE would be even better. Um, so maybe I'll do that next. So real quickly, I wanted to go over some of the things that I use for the CCMP exam, uh, specifically the NRC. Um, if you've seen my previous video on Encore, I pretty much used the exact same strategy that I used for it, that I used for my CCNA exam, that I used for this exam, and I will continue to use this strategy. Um, I watched CBT Nuggets all the way through. Um, the first try, I was going through CBT Nuggets. Halfway through, I decided that I wanted to try something different. Um, so I switched over to Kevin Wallace's um, and Charles Judd's uh, Udemy course. I watched that all the way through. And then once I did that, I decided to finish the CBT Nuggets course. And then after that, um, I read the OCG all the way through. And once I completed the OCG, I read it again all the way through. Um, I started doing 
boson practice exams around that time after I finished those CG for the second time. And I realized, having done all that, I must have not retained knowledge as good as I normally had, so I was like, let's just completely scrap it and start over. Um, so that was around the time that I found Nick Russo's um, video on YouTube, and I'm going to link it below. And I have to say, I've seen a lot of content um, for Cisco exams, but the plural site um, and RC content from Nick Russo is by far probably my favorite content uh, for networking that I've ever seen. Now, um, I really enjoy Jeremy Chara's style for the CCNA courses, but one thing that Nick Russo did in this video series was he takes a network and builds it from the ground up using the NRC blueprint. And that was something that I'm, I'm sure someone else has probably thought of, but the fact that no one else has done it, um, it's seeing him doing it was really cool so he literally will start off with just a few routers and he builds that topology up using the nrc blueprint and i think that is something that is really awesome um, because it's, it's it's like a puzzle and it just keeps building and building so once i completed the plural site and i'm going to link that below it's like a 10 week uh, sheet that you follow you do some labs along with it um, for the labs they have uh, GNS3 vault listed as those um, Which is Renee from network lessons. I also use that this time around huge shout out to, to his team Networklessons.com is probably by far uh, one of my ways of quickly absorbing information, the way that Renee explains things is really thorough and really easy to understand. So I utilize that quite a bit in grasping the initial concept of some of the protocols and some of the topics and then diving deeper with Nick Russo and some of the white papers that I read. That is something that I, I originally did not do or didn't do a lot of for previous exams, but I will say for this exam... Um, it is not essential to read white papers, but some of the topics on the exam goes a little deeper than the OCG and some of the video content that I've read. Um, so I would, I would find some of the areas that if you're scratching your head or you're scratching your chin trying to figure out uh, a certain, uh, a certain qu answer to a certain question that you may have about uh, a certain protocol, um, dive into some of the white papers because... I can assure you it will pay off. I know it may not be the most exciting thing, but for me, the white papers really helped me blow this exam. So all in all, real briefly, let's talk about the exam itself. The exam was fair. I felt like the exam was, um, to me, it was better than the Encore exam because I feel like the Encore exam was all over the place, whereas with this exam, um, I feel like it was more structured. There was a few questions on the exam that I feel like could have been worded a little better. Um, there were a few questions on the exam that I feel like they could have included a little bit more information. I remember specifically a few questions that I was, um, I, I couldn't scratch my, my chin because I was, you know, I was afraid that they would say something about that. But if I could have sat there and scratched my chin and really sat there and just stared at the screen, I would have done that. Um, because there were a few questions on the exam that I feel like either it was missing information or missing um, a topology diagram or missing something because the questions just did not make sense uh, and maybe it was just you know uh, you build up to these exams you get a lot of anxiety maybe that's all it was but um, I, I'm not sure honestly I, I haven't had this experience before with any Cisco exams but uh, there was a few questions where I was sitting there thinking that there was missing information or something and I almost wanted to comment uh, with the comment button that they have and say something about it but you know of course when you're taking these exams that doesn't stop your time at least that I know of uh, so I was really just trying to get the exam done as far as trick questions there was one question on the exam that really stumped me I did really good on time I think I passed this exam uh, faster than I have any other exam timeline wise uh, and as well as time wise uh, on the exam uh, there was one question where uh, I was I sat there for at least 10 minutes um, because it there was a lot of configuration output that I was having to examine and there was just so much uh, configuration to try and parse through and I will say that that is a strategy that I use to pass the exam is uh, let's say for instance 
uh, there's a question on a route map and it's asking you to configure a route map with a prefix list. If the prefix list is wrong, let's say it tells you to match on something, uh, you know, with a less than or greater than, and you have to be really fine-tuned with the route map, even if the rest of the route map is correct and that prefix list is wrong, that is something that is really easy to detect and kick that answer out. So then you can focus on the answers that at least the prefix list is right on. Then you can follow that same process down uh, for your route map, making sure that it's actually matching on a correctly spelled prefix prefix list and then so on and so forth if it has any set clauses for maybe PBR or something like that um, just pay attention to the small things because that was really a lot on the exam that I noticed that there would be small little differences in between some of the configuration output um, but again if you really know what you're doing you can quickly look at it and parse it and say this is good this is not and one other thing that I'd like to recommend is do a show run on some of the devices that you have active and really sit there and study the command structure because that is huge for this exam uh, to know the command structures for the for some of the components for um, control plane policing and stuff like that you really have to know your commands because there is no simulator it's just command parses and you have to pick the best one so all in all, I think the exam was really great. I definitely will be continuing down the Cisco track. There's no doubt about that. Um, I really enjoyed the exam, and I'm so glad to have completed the CCMP. Um, man, it feels great. It feels awesome. I feel even better now than I did when I completed my CCNA. Um, so all in all, great exam. So with all that being said, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. As, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. You can reach out to me on social media, whatever you guys are comfortable with. Thank you guys so much for your support, and thank you for watching.